Hello lovelies, how are you? It is a beautiful rainy Sunday afternoon today and there is so much to do. I have to do some test printing, I have to finish art and I am trying to use up all the ink in this green pen so that I can replace it with Soda Pop Blue by Robert Oster. Very important things, all of these things. So come and join me. I've been trying to film during the weeks instead of doing it on the weekend, but it's been so busy. So weekends it is. First up today, I am working on what is going to be a wallpaper, a digital wallpaper, which I'm going to release on my new website. So the idea is that you can sign up to my newsletter and by signing up to my newsletter, you get a free download of a digital wallpaper to use as your desktop on your computer and I might do one for the phone as well and you also get a discount coupon for my shop. So this is the digital wallpaper here that I'm making. This is going to be the website freebie, one of the website freebies. I need to make sure as a desktop wallpaper that it is not too cluttered. Like I want a really cute pretty print but I need it to be fairly clean because it's your desktop on your computer. I have like a zillion bajillion files all over my desktop. You'll see my desktop in a minute when I show you how it looks on the computer. And I've strategically cleaned up the desktop by putting things in files. Actually, my computer at the moment, because I'm doing so much work, is extremely cluttered, and which I hate. I'm fastidious about cleaning my desktop. So anyway, I digress. Back to the point. This is the digital wallpaper that I'm making now, which will be the freebie. So this will be available in HD and a couple of other smaller sizes as well. And um, you will just be able to download it and then I'll show you how to pop it on your computer. Mind you, I can only show you how to do it on a Mac because that's what I've got, but it is a very, very simple thing to do. And I'm sure that it's not that much different on a Windows computer. I mean, of course it will be different, but still simple. This is my desktop of my Mac Air. So you will need to go into your home file and from there, there's your pictures. Home, pictures. So that's where you need to put the picture I'm giving you. Now the picture I'll give you will be in your downloads. So you scritchy along to your downloads file, open it up. There's the picture and drop it in. There it is, I'm just checking it and drop it in to the pictures file. There you are, all done. Now to load that up, you then go to your system preferences, boom, to your desktop and screensaver, and you will see it there as an option, just there, click, boom, done. Oh, how cute is that? I think it's lovely and not too cluttered, which is the point. You want a really cute print, but something that doesn't clutter up your whole desktop. So. Perfecto. Hey, also, I replaced, finally replaced the flowers on my shelf with these um, bird of paradise. Is that what you call it? Bird of paradise from my garden. Aren't they gorgeous? Spectacular, aren't they? That. Anyway. And pink and yellow are my colours, right? I just love pink, yellow and green. Oh, I just love them. Oh, and, and blue. Yeah, I love all the colours. All right, let's do this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we start, let's pull a card from the <coughs> Sacred Creators Oracle, which is my favourite oracle of all, by Chris Ann. I don't know if you can get them anymore, um, but she has other decks as well. You just look up. What is she just Chris Ann on Instagram? Chris Ann, Sacred Creators Oracle. Anyway, it's such a kick-ass deck. Like, it's, it's amazing. Right, here we go. Soul on Fire. Awesome. So I've created a set of prints that go together. You can buy them separately, but they do go together. And uh, they're kind of positive affirmations. So the first one is fill your cup. And that is about giving yourself the things that you need in order to thrive. 
So that could be anything from investing in stuff for your health or um, equipment that you need in order to do better at what you create or going away by yourself for some time or just anything, anything that it is that we put off because we always put ourselves last but that if you don't do then you're never really going to give your best to this world. That is called filling your cup. Give yourself what you need in order to thrive. Make yourself well, make yourself be happy. That is fill your cup. So there's that one. Um, you are enough, which of course is about feeling worthy and knowing that who you are is more than enough already. Like you don't have to be more, you don't have to do more, you don't have to be prettier or thinner or more successful. You are already worthy. That's what that one is. And trust yourself which is all about following your intuition and, and exercising that. That's a practice, you know. It's not something that we all necessarily know instinctively. It's something that you, you practice and you do and you get better and you get stronger at. You know, even journaling, that's all part of learning and exercising how to trust yourself and your intuition. So these are all things that are really meaningful to me and they're – they are affirmations and, and ways of living that, that I hold very dear to my heart. So I've made these prints. You'll be able to buy them separately and buy them large, but also in, in small um, card size so that you, know, you can give them away as well or put them in your journal or just put them in, pop them in little frames on your desk. Anyway, we're going to do test prints of those today. Yay! So let's do that now. All right, lovelies, let us over to the printer. So the paper that I use to print these out on is Ilford Gallery inkjet photo paper. It is professional fine art matte paper, smooth cotton rag, 310 GSM. It is absolutely beautiful. Let me tell you, it is such high quality paper. It's going to be such a high quality print. Like it stuns me when they come out, how beautiful they are and how good this paper is. So let's get this loaded up and we can do our prints. Now we are going to get the settings right and press print and away we go. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look how stunning they are. I am so happy with them. I think they have come out just beautifully. What a gorgeous set. I freaking love them. I love them. Yay. They look beautiful. There's a little printing issue here with this one, right? The edge has been cut off. But I think that that's basically because in the original picture, I have made this whole uh, botanical bit just too close to the edge so um, it naturally cuts off a bit of the edge anyway so I'll just have to sort of shrink it down and move it slightly in and then that won't that won't happen anymore no oh, I'm so happy with them though the colors of this printer oh my gosh they're just beautiful just beautiful oh I love them I'm so excited I cannot wait to get them up for sale because I think people will love them and send them to each other and it will just be gorgeous and put them in the, on their writing desks and no oh, it's such a good message to get out in the world and I just I'm so happy There we go guys fixed it you see how it all fits in there now so lovelies here are the beautiful prints now I had originally made them to release on my new web shop which is currently being built but I just think what the hell I might as well release them now on my current Etsy store so that like people can try them out and see and I can get some feedback and see how it's all going so anyway I thought it'd be nice to show you exactly what uh, what you receive and how you receive them so if you were to order um, a print 
or the three prints together, you will get them. They'll come in this little bag to protect them. And if you get one or you get three, I'm going to put them in the same bag because um, we want to use less plastic, right? So I'll pop them in there like that. And they go there. And let me close that up. I'm also put one of these little stickers so that goes like that in there and I post them in these extremely thick protective cardboard mailers they're so thick thick and I put fragile stickers on the front so that will go in there and also these finally came back from the printers. You will also get in there one of my postcards that I had made. Ta-da! My lovely lady surrounded by her pot, plant, pot plants. And my thank you card back there. And that will go in there too. Hooray! Huzzah! So that's how it comes from the store. So lovelies, these prints are available from my Etsy shop right now. You can head to the description box and there will be a link in there that will take you straight to the store. Now with the Little Birdie desktop wallpaper, I have decided that I really want you guys to have this right now if you want it. So I've created a little sign up box. If you again head to the description box below the video and there will be a link which will take you to a sign up box. If you pop your email address in there then I will send you a downloadable copy of the digital desktop wallpaper so that you too can have it on your computer it's the cutest thing so lovelies that is it for this video it's been a bit of a long one because I was away for a few weeks there and I wanted to make up for it by showing you all the ins and outs of what's going on I hope you have enjoyed it now the good news is that I have indeed finished the green ink in my fountain pen so I'm going to leave you with a little snippet of me changing over my ink because let's face it cleaning out the fountain pen and changing over the ink is one of the most delicious things that happens in the studio all right bye for now love you